What is up everyone on YouTube? Jacob here. I hope you all are doing well today. We got a huge, huge haul today. Probably gonna have a part one and a part two. It's full of a bunch of things I've been buying, trading for, and uh, you know, it's been a while since I've done a haul, even though I've done a lot of them. I wanna preface this video by saying that for the last month, I've kind of been focusing on the design aspect of my life, just working on what motivates me creatively. And a big part of that, for me at least, was just getting clothing. I know that sounds dumb, but when I can get clothing in hand and understand how it's made, it kind of motivates me to make better products and all that. And that was kind of the thought process over getting a lot of this stuff. At this point, my wardrobe is pretty huge, so you guys will see, and you'll see it over time. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. First two things I got from a store called Urban Jungle. It's in Minnesota, similar to round two. You can buy and sell clothing there. They also have like a bunch of designers, vintage, mixed in. I brought some old clothes there, traded them in, and ended up getting two things from them. They're really great people there, by the way. If you're in the area, definitely check it out. So the first thing is this chrome heart shirt. It's kind of weird starting out the video with the chrome heart shirt, but it's a blank shirt. They printed crosses on it and it's vintage, so it has a cool fit to it. This one has a cigarette pocket on it. It's like a medium. It fits true to size. I do I do think the pattern on the back is especially cool on it. The next thing I got from them is this Stone Island zip up pullover. I believe this is from like 2014, so it's not super old, but it's really big. It's made of like a fleece type material. It kind of reminds me of a Rick hoodie. The zippers on it are just super chunky. It's got chunky zippers all throughout. It's got a nice patch on the side. Also the hood like rolls up into a zipper. It just fits kind of longer, baggier, definitely for like a rainy London day. The guys there were showing me some older Stone Island stuff and it's super cool and it's definitely archived. Maybe Fernando should get on it for Silver League. We'll see. Keeping it kind of lightweight for summer. This next item I got, I actually traded two things to Fernando for in Silver League. It's a Vivian Westwood 2000 to live too young to die shirt. This is a definitely very old. It was expensive. I had to trade two pretty nice things for it. I don't know if Vivian like printed this herself. This is like, in my opinion, a really iconic logo. As you can see, it fits like a completely normal Hanes shirt. This next thing I got is a sweater that was sent to me by Owen Hyatt for his brand, Colette Hyatt. I believe it's called like the Architecture Knitted Pullover. Something along those lines, but it just has a huge monogram of some Russian buildings and it's woven into the wool fabric. This is extremely soft. This is something I'll just throw on to be extra cozy. Trevor also got one of these and he likes it a lot too. That was a man walking by my house just now. Trevor, today, as you know, I'm filming a pickups video. Very standard stuff. No, wait, yo, chill, chill, chill. Bro. Well, I was just gonna ask you, do you have any new pickups that you'd want to show? Uh... Do you have any new pickups or not, Trevor? No. Buy my clothes, please, so I can get new pickups. <laughs> yeah. We got the America. Oh, I don't okay, have any okay. new Trevor has no new pickups, except for this NKSD hoodie he made, which is honestly very nice. Thank you. I'm making a full collection. It's like night vision. All right, since you have nothing new to show, well, you know, I was gonna have you try on two things. Share the love, you... bro. This is the Vetmont America Flyer jacket. What's your honest reaction? Sean White jacket. At the Olympics, the snowboard team had to wear snowboard pants that look like denim. It's American. 50 stars and 13 stripes out of 10. I also want you to try on another jacket. This one is definitely going to be a little bit of a different style for you. See, this is sick though. It's like a Fortnite skin. You look like you hunt werewolves. Honestly, it works. What do you think of the buckle? I think I saw this on Amazon once. Are you ever going to wear this in LA? Yeah. Where? At night? I don't know. When it's dangerous? Probably at least stab proof. There's no pockets in here. It does have seam reinforcement on the inside. Just hold out your arm. A little bit. Oh, whoa. It is. Don't hit the archive. Bruh, my shoes. It's completely water resistant. You wear it on a rainy day then. Okay. Enough. All right, what do you rate it? Well, there's no hood. Probably rated like an 8.5. Well, I could have you react to a couple more things, but I think we'll save it for the part two. Thank okay. you for making a cameo. Your ratings are appreciated. I'll have my pickups ready for part two. The next thing I got from Helder Vices is a white hooded long sleeve. It's got some pretty charged political graphic on it, and it's really nice. It's cozy. It's kind of nice for summer because of how thin it is, and the colors of it are really cool and interesting. Overall, I like it, and I appreciate that it has a hood. The next three things I want to show you are all shorts. The first pair was sent to me by Forward Man. They were super down to collaborate, and they sent me a bunch of different things. You know, honestly, because of that, I've spent a lot of time looking on their site. A lot of products that I haven't seen in other retailers, and honestly, there's some pretty 
pretty decent items on sale. One of these things, or a few of these things, are like half off. This first pair of shorts, though, that I wanted to show you is a pair of Adidas Y3 shorts. I'm not the biggest fan of Y3, but I am a huge fan of Adidas shorts. I don't know why, but I think like the three stripes on the side gives kind of like a classic look. Because these are Y3, though, they're actually really nice quality. They have two back pockets, a little Y3 embroidery. They got a zipper on the front. They got kind of a longer fit. They're not super expensive. I think they were like 70 bucks. Adidas shorts have become like a staple in what I wear. Next thing is a pair of elite shorts. My name is Matthew Williams. These I believe are called like the everyday shorts and there's really nothing to them except for the fact that they fit pretty much perfectly. Ever since I got these, everyone I've worn them around has been like, what are those shorts? They have a front zipper, pockets, the nylon they're made of is super nice, kind of similar to the summer short and then it has a cool little print. The vibe of Elite's is kind of utilitarian and industrious and just like wearable. And that's what these shorts are, they're really just wearable. And the final pair of shorts was sent to me by Farfetch. These are the Rick Owens boxing shorts. Farfetch also, like Forward Man, sent me a bunch of different different products and I'm gonna feature some of them in this video, some of them in part two. But I did a whole campaign for them and a whole summer editorial for them, a bunch of photos. This pair of shorts in specific is a Rick Owens boxing short. I have the waist rolled one time just so they fit normally. If you unroll the waist, they're like super big, kind of like a dress. The reason I like these so much is because of the fabric. It, they're made of like this super industrial, thick, heavy weight nylon fabric. As you know, I'm a big fan of nylon shorts. These are probably some of the nicest, highest quality nylon shorts I've ever had. All the stitching on them is done, I would say, pretty much perfectly, and they have the classic Rick cord. They're very nice. On Farfetch, these are also on sale if you guys want to check them out. They're one of my go-tos. They pretty much never break down. They are pretty expensive, as most Rick is, and comparing it to a lot of the brands I've been getting in the last, whatever, couple months, it does hold up. It is very nicely made. Big thank you to Rick Owens. These next two items are a little heavier, maybe for like summer and nighttime. This first one is this Rossfet Athletic Collab sweater. I honestly didn't know this dropped, but it was very inexpensive. On ground. It's made of a fleece, but it's higher quality. The fit of it is honestly perfect. It's just kind of boxy and not too long, and the shoulders fit perfectly. If you remember old Gosha, it was all drop shoulder, and that's a super cool look as well. But I feel like if you can do the boxy fit with true shoulders, it looks good in my opinion. The sleeves are a little baggy. The whole graphic is all stitched in really nice. This is just one of those simple items that you get a bunch of wear out of. This next item is a denim jacket. I haven't really had that many denim jackets in the past. This one is a Gaultier jeans one. I found this at a store called Waistline. It was just sitting on the rack and it was pretty inexpensive and once I took it off the rack and looked at all the details on it I really liked it. There's this Gaultier kind of embroidered thing all across the bottom. It's got custom Gaultier pins on it. The most cool thing about it I guess is the fit. It's kind of cropped and then wider. It's definitely a women's jacket but it just I guess happens to fit me. I don't know why. I like how little it is basically. I had a Balenciaga denim jacket that was just super oversized. It was too heavy. These next couple items are all coats so not really summer. This first one was sent to me my forward man like a few of the other things this I have to send back but I'm gonna take like a photo in it obviously it's one of the loudest coats I think I've ever had it's a fat American flag with huge embroidered stars on it it says America in Russian on the back it's got some cross-cultural dimensions it fits insanely oversized I feel like a Russian mobster in this America it has a really nice lining on it honestly and it's it's kind of just like a snowboard jacket is what I really describe it as I have a few snowboarder friends and I've gone snowboarding a couple times this would be like the perfect thing to wear for it. I don't want to mess it up though, so I probably wouldn't. This next jacket was sent to me also by Forward Man. This is one of the craziest and coolest jackets I've ever had. I actually get to keep this, I believe. It's on like sale on their site right now. It's a Macintosh My name is Matthew collab. Williams. It's made in Scotland. It's made by hand. It's all super heavy duty, like military style type things. It's got this cool kind of camo monogram on it and then a leaks on each pocket. I look like Dracula when I wear it and uh, it's got a real fancy nice leaks buckle on it. I don't know if this one's made of aluminum, but this is one of the tighter leaks buckles I've had. It really, I think, completes the jacket. Shout out to Matthew Williams. I got another one sent to me by them, but I'm gonna show that to you in the part two. And then the final jacket I really wanna just throw in here. It's kind of some self-promotion, but it's something I took out of my archives. I was at my house and I was just looking at some of my older designs. And uh, this is a jacket I made like two years ago. The pattern of it is inspired by this Gosha coat, but I put two wool pockets on the front. It's got exaggerated buttons. It's got a big collar. And uh, this is just really a jacket that I kind of forgot about. When I tried it on again, I really liked the fit. It has misaligned hems on the front, 
which kind of misaligned the pattern. It's got a nice liner on it. It's something I kind of made and forgot about and uh, I took it out again, started wearing it and I'm happy with it. One other thing I guess I'll just show you, just this Vivian Westwood pearl necklace. I traded Fernando a pair of denim for it. I've never had a pearl necklace before, but I do, I think it looks pretty nice. I think I'll end it there. Look out for the part two. I have more stuff in it. Let me know what you guys think of all the pickups in this. I know there's a ton and let me know what you think. As always, my name is Jacob. I love you all. Peace out and take care everybody.